Hello, bonjour everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching my video and special thanks for those who subscribe to my channel. Today is a two part video. And one of the first part will be about Flames of War uh, 3D printing website thing Iverse. I have an account there and I want to show my printing. So the part one would be about house I, I made and put available on Thingiverse to download and play with Flames of War. The part two would be about cobblestone road that I print to use in town, in the country, and also alley road. Part two of my video is road. See, here we have cobblestone road in town, so that means I made them with sidewalk on each side of uh, the road. We have one is 140 millimeter long and they are 75 millimeter wide. 55 is cobblestone, we have 10 millimeter on each side for the sidewalk. So we have them at 140, I have some at 100 millimeter long and some at 70. The reason for that is if you decide to create and you have to and you want to have side road on your housing development for example you can place I'll show you a townhouse to building exactly fit or if you want to have a corner house you can bring a corner house and fit perfectly with your house. And the last one, it's a single home building or store. They would fit right in front of it. So that way, when you create your street and your housing in town, there will be no gap between road and there will be no gap between building. So that's the idea why we have three standard straight 140 millimeter long, 100 millimeter or 70. For example, you don't have town home, it will fit the same way to use a single, two single out side by side. It will fit perfectly in front of it. Now, from those three straight, also make available a T junction of your main street that would fit in between buildings so the street can go down while it go in front of it. So we can have a T-junction here. We can place 270 to fit in front. Do I have another 70 here available? I don't see. And on the other side, you can put a 100. If you don't have 70 and you put two outs, then you can put 140 and it will fit perfectly. So it gives you the opportunity to say, I want to have a continued road to go down. And if you decide, you can decide to have one beside, that means it would be flush to the building as well with the sidewalk. So you get the chance to have T-junction, an intersection, and also I have some curve. You have 15 degree curve, 30 degree curve, and 45. I don't really see them right here. So we have three kind of turn. So they have 15, 30, 45, that means two of them can bring you to a complete 90 degree turn. This one, three of them, and that one, you multiply 15 for six, so you need six to get a full 90 degree. But they give you also the opportunity to have all kind of turn with different angles at the end. You can go. 
I know that I don't have the building that follow those turn, but at least you can have some turn in town to go to different angle. So that's the first option for road. There are cobblestone road for in town with sidewalk. The next option of road I have, it's called Alley Road, or I call it Alley Road. It is only the cobblestone. There's no sidewalk on each side, or there's no kind of a grass on each side. So you can use them standard in the countryside with no dirt on each side, and you just have to attach them together. If you just want no house in between or alongside, there's no difference, you can use all 140 long, minimize and to reach your destination. But as standard, I have cobblestone alley road 140. I got the 100 and I have the 70 length. From there also I have a T-junction with a main road with sidewalk. I have one, it's a 55 by 55. If you make a full intersection of cobblestone road with no sidewalk or dirt on each side. So you can create your own little side road with intersection. And if you decide it is a T-junction, it's as well have the same result. I also have the three curve, the 45, the 15, and the 30 degree angle. Now why I call them alley road is because in the old country in Europe, it's quite often old town, they have some main road, but outside road are smaller in width. And those years, they, those city was built, there was no car, so it was really popular to have side road where it's only pedestrian. So for example, we can decide to have the main road passing by and you place a corner house on both sides and you want to have an alley road to go down. So you can place the T-junction like this On the other side, you get the same. And then you put a 100 to complete the corner house. And that will complete your intersection for the road. And then you can continue to have those roads with house on each side. And you can do the same with the alley. You go down with small cobblestone, alley road cobblestone that fit the house. You go around. Like in the background here, you can see the size of a Tiger II in the alley. It takes almost the entire alley, so there's no place to turn around or to be two side, side by side. So that's for the alley road. My last option, I call them the countryside road. They are uh, as well 140 millimeter in length for the straight, 100 millimeter in length, or 70. So it gives you the opportunity to have the same length as all the other road, so they will fit the width of a corner house, two single house or town, one a town home, and one single house. Also, you can have any house as well, 75 in width with 55 or cobblestone, minimite. Have an intersection for a four way and stop, a T junction as well. I also for the country create some Y uh, road so you can arrive in a Y angle. 
and f like the others, I have the 15, 30, and 45 angled corner. So you can create any angle of a turn in your game. As you can see in the back, I have masking tape. The reason for that is I place the masking tape underneath just like so when I built and they are kind of glued together. So during the game they will not move, they are fixed together. So that's not you do not destroy your road as you play and have to rebuild constantly. So that's just the way I play them. When I build them, I put a Y, I put my skin tape underneath. So that's the three options of road. They are standard. So the cobblestone is 55. And the land are all the same. For the straight 140, 100, and 170 millimeter. So thank you for watching my boat video. I hope you appreciate. They will be, like I said, available on Thingiverse on the different page of uh, download you can uh, you might be interested to use so thank you very much any comments please feel free to put them on the b bottom if you got an idea that I did not think that you would like to see be able to see on the battlefield I can create I'll be more than happy to look into it so thank you again bye bye Hello, bonjour everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching my video and special thanks for those who subscribe to my channel. Today is a two part video and one, the first part will be about Flames of War uh, 3D printing website thing Iverse. I have an account there and I want to show my printing. So the part one would be about house I, I made and put available on Thingiverse to download and play with Flames of War. The part two would be about cobblestone road that I print to use in town, in the country, and also alley road. Part one would be about house, and the first is single home. As you can see, I have basically five different models of single home. Those single home also give the opportunity to have store into your game and different configuration possible. Each house, regardless the model, like that porta cochere house, are all of the same size. They are 70 millimeter wide by 60 millimeter deep. They all consist of three level is the basic. So you got your main level, first floor, and the roof. Each of those house, you can change in between. So if you would like to have the brick house with a roof with no dormant on the top, you can replace each of the roof. So you get the option to have different kind of a look on the table. Also available on Thing Evers is each building that represents a store. You can replace them. With the one, it's just a house with a door. So you can replace them. It's already an option to download at the same time as you download those stores. So you can have all with store instead. You can also change first floor from any of them. So that gives you different conf configuration, different look. When I build them, each of the door or windows, regardless if it's a store window or not, are flush with the building. That means if you are one space in between each building, you will have the opportunity to have 
side windows back so all around but in, if you want to be a town on inside a town you can put them flush against each others and this way it become like a series of town home inside your town and there's no space in between the next set of house I have available on my thing Ivers is corner street home so basically most of the time if you are a small village or in town you will have corner house and those corner house take the front and the side against the street so I have here three models to show one you can see the entrance of the store is on the corner of the building and then two building that are art corner one of the option is to have single home at the corner store with house front door entrance then you have the option to have like here store at the corner street while your corner may represent a store entrance right there on the corner the other would be a front of the street main street and transfer their store also all those house you can change some in stucco like we see here or some with stucco with some brick appear that appear the roof if we take a corner full corner like this can be interchanged in between the same as a single home The same apply for this corner house with the corner with the door you can replace it with one with different model available on my thingiverse website like this option here I have I can replace with different dormant on the top so that give you when you look at your game different options different look for every building you have on the table and to finish also as well all the window are flush to the building so you can put them side by side in town and there will be no space in between each building and that's for this kind of building corner house or this kind of model they all flush to the building when you put them you can be side by side and they are flush the last standard model house I have they are what we call town home where they are two home attached together to form one big house also as you can see it comes in three different ones the brick model the stucco model and the stucco with some patch of brick appearing each of them are the same size they are huh? 140 millimeter by 60 that mean that they are exactly the same size of two singular ohm side by side on the table they are so exactly the same that I can decide to place the roof of a single ohm on both half and it complete so you can have dormant on one side and no dormant on the other side and as usual all the roof can be changed in between and you can change the first floor between each others so that give you more option of different look or different color paint with your house and they are the windows and door are flush to the building so if they are by themselves they have all around opening for firing and if you put them side by side there's no gap in between each building now that's those three different house model 
how you can customize them. We have few options for you. If it is a store, you can change the name on the storefront. On my page of Ting Ivers, I give you, I think, 10 French name and 10 German name available to transfer to eight or ten of each that you can place on any they are I use magnet to hold them in place and those magnet are magnet are the same size as the one two for your tank from battlefront so you can have them and interchange if you don't have magnet you can still glue them on the building and it will make no difference. The only thing is if you place one building in German and it's glue, if you want to play a scenario, for example, in a French territory, then you will have to print with the French name on it. Or you can let them with no front name. The second option you, you have for those store, like seen here, you can see they have shutter window open or close. It's also available to download on every page to download one of those house and it gives you also the opportunity to customize even more your building by having shutter install and glue around the windows. If you decide to do that, I recommend you do that only on the front or the back of the building not on the side because if you place them on the side then it will create a problem if you try to put them against another building there will be a gap in between so if you decide to install shutter to personalize the look I recommend it will be placed only in the front or the back if you decide to put all around then those house would be more difficult to be placed side by side and fill the gap and there's no gap in between so you can customize like here you can see shutter close on the dormant on the roof and on the first floor they are open you can as well choose to have some open some close it's your personal choice so that's the second way to customize your building now if we look at damaged building or undamaged building like in the back here you can see there is rubble in front of each building those rubbles are 70 millimeter by 20 or 100 by 20 so 70 by 20 would fit perfectly in front of a single house and the 100 millimeter will fit perfectly in front of a corner house that is 100 millimeter wide so that gives you an opportunity to have some damage building with some rubble in front of them to personalize and customize those rubbles yes, as you can see on this one have kind of a store sign into the rubbles so you don't have to put one on the building it may seem like it fell and it is part of the rubble the 70 millimeter also have the same opportunity if you can see some rubbles show with the store sign some doesn't have and the same for the 100 millimeter so that's the three model ohm or else you can have from my thing ever that I just complete and upload for download they are all free to download so feel free to download them print them and enjoy them on your the battlefield just complete my two parts of video you saw the one with my uh, also a different model I have available to download hunting Ivers and also the three different roads that are similar but have different purpose available so each one 
you can play them together or differently and different option. So if you got any idea to improve or building that you haven't seen on my thing ever to download, feel free to comment below. When you download one of my Thingiverse to print, if there's a mistake or if there's something should be improved, please let me know. Otherwise, I might not see it or it might not be obvious to me because I built it and I will not be able to correct it. When I see there's need for correction, I do them, but I don't see everything. So thank you for watching. I hope you appreciate. Bye-bye.